Downstairs, we're going to be setting up this wonderful Terry Genethis exhibit of posters. Jim showed me the, the, the improvements there. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. And it's, everybody's going to ask Terry, ask me to say, how did Terry Genethis get those posters? How did that happen? Okay. As I mentioned earlier, the, I got back to Bari. Italy. From there, I still have my furlough papers. All that's all I needed for fare to any U.S. plane that was flying anywhere around Europe at that time. So I flew to Rome, then from Rome to Marseille. And then from Marseille to Paris. I reported to Paris as uh, instructed, and sure enough, they said yes, they'll take, they'll accept my name and put, in, put me on my list. And when there is available transportation, we've got your number here and, and your address, so we'll call you. Meantime, you. you you will be staying at the village a few miles outside of Paris. I had no other choice. So I waited several days, no call, several, so, uh, turned out the weeks. Meanwhile, uh, trips to Paris, uh, the seeing and viewing whatever Paris had to offer, including the Eiffel Tower, even meeting a girlfriend there, I recall. <laughs> and uh, back and forth to my village, back the next morning, and it got monotonous, I waiting to hear. Meanwhile, I took weekend trips to Brussels for one, the Riviera Beach, another coming back, still no word. Uh, back to Paris, uh, then uh, shopping around for souvenirs. I ran into this bookshop where amaz amazingly. A bookshop and, and a, a printer. A printer. Uh, there was even a book of my 69 division that had been printed that I knew nothing about. So I picked up one of those. And then looking around, there, there was piles of other <coughs> old stuff to be had. And I saw these folded posters. I opened up one of them. I was impressed. Uh, and without looking at, at many of the others, uh, asking how much, I don't recall how many, how many francs, because at each country, uh, in Germany we had U.S. marks, in France, oh, it was the same, the same, the same German marks. The, the, I believe they were accepted as currency in, in France. I don't recall exactly uh, how much these posters were, but uh, seeing one of them, I, I saw this whole pile. For, for whatever reason, I, 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 I said, well, uh, you want so many for francs for one, for the whole deal, well, what kind of, well, they, they, they figured out how much, whatever it was, uh, I, I had enough money because I would, I get, every month we got paid, the army paid uh, 
<laughs> even that amount, I forget what it was. But uh, I had enough to, and they, they were willing to dispose of this whole pile for X number of uh, francs. And we made a deal. And I brought him back to the house and uh, packed him in a package, showed him to the lieutenant in charge. Because every package that you mailed back home had to be authorized by an officer, and he had to sign for him. So he looked at him. He, he, he saw nothing objectionable. Okay, them. I packed them. I, I, I mailed them home. And they got here, and <laughs> months later, I, 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 when I got back home, I. Uh, Glanced at them and, and and parked them in the in the garage. Later we moved in the attic, and that's where they were were stored until when we were in business here with the Jonathan Larson. We had a, a a staff of more than a dozen including two photographers. So it occurred to me one night, uh, well, these posters that I had, that I had looked at, why don't, why don't we, uh, talking with a photographer, so, some evening, would you mind coming in and, and uh, photograph him? And, <laughs> And he was he was willing. I bought him dinner with his wife. And in a couple of nights, we took all these, photographed them, and the next week we had uh, slides of each one, which I stored away and <laughs> didn't see for a long time. So, any other question? <laughs> impressed you when you looked at the you're in Paris and you're in this bookstore and you open up the first poster and you see what is it when you looked at it that impressed you because your background is really graphic design I mean you you, you have, were educated in that area exactly as a matter of fact uh, the 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 years that I've spent at Pratt I had the opportunity of entering a contest that was sponsored by what what what's the big college in Vermont, I believe. That's noted for its for its skiing. Burlington probably. Near Burlington, Vermont. Isn't that something? The Dartmouth. The Dartmouth. Dartmouth, of course. So I entered this contest uh, sponsored by Dartmouth, and uh, many, or, uh, well, all the, the art schools and colleges in the country uh, must have entered because it's an annual for the annual. Uh, whatever the heading was, and I entered it, and it uh, surprisingly, uh, in, in, in a few weeks, uh, the, the announcement came that Corporal Terry Genethus, the first prize. <laughs> that, that to me was. I mean, we, we had uh, 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 top artists. This was my senior year at Pratt that competed, and uh, uh, I even have a poster somewhere. I, I looked for it. I can't find it yet. But I, I've got slides and duplicate prints of it, if, if necessary, if somebody wants to look at them. 
and having a, a, a taste for those for, for poster, um, this all this these posters of these uh, German designers that impressed me with the, the, the power that, that, that they seem to display. So I guess that must have been the reason why I was attracted to them and I figured, well, if they were available, why not? Did you get any sense that the, I mean, here you are, an army, and this is the post-war occupation by the Americans in Paris, and the bookstore owners have this memorabilia, poster memorabilia of Nazi occupation, that maybe now's a good time to sort of get rid of this stuff? Definitely. Oh, I must have had that behind my mind, Greg, because <laughs> uh, something told me that, uh, that, that, that it might be useful even, uh, I guess I must have dreamed that if I visited Pratt in Brooklyn that I could uh, show them. In fact, some of these names of the designers we had been, we had heard about in our in our art classes, in, in, oh, I let Pratt. As a matter of fact, one of our instructors at Pratt was a German designer who had mentioned some of these names that I saw in these posters. Uh, who taught at Pratt for a while, and and. Uh, I, uh, being the airbrush, uh, for some reason, I, it wasn't an airbrush class at, at Pratt. It's just that I experimented with it as much or more than anybody else. And uh, I became pretty well acquainted with the uh, airbrush room and, and uh, eventually I, even though I, uh, I wasn't elected to be the, I, I, I was sort of expected that if anybody had, had any question on airbrushing that I, I had the most experience so I was, so because of that and uh, this instructor, whose name was Will Burton, B-U-R-T-I-N, uh, after leaving Pratt, he got uh, more, more famous as an artist, uh, eventually becoming the chief designer uh, with Time and Life in the Rockefeller Center building. And I worked with him, not at, the, at, at, at his downtown office, but at his studio on, uh, on 8th Avenue, about 80-some street, just across the street from Central Park. So whenever he had occasion to uh, need for my help, he would uh, call me and, and uh, he, he had, he would give me, he would assign me whatever was necessary. So I came back to Brooklyn and, uh, and, and uh, tried to do whatever he wanted. And we, uh, we got, that's how I got to be good friends with, with a German designer that, uh, that might have been an influence from uh, my meandering around Paris, which ended up accumulating these posters. Also, one of the things you accumulated and dropped off here the other day was that 
I guess the best way to describe it is a silk photograph of Hitler. You know, with a photograph image. And it, it yeah, was, I recall giving you that, and I'm trying to think of where I, where, where I picked that up. It's phenomenal. It's you know, I... I I, I, I'm, I'm glad you were impressed with it because after I gave it to you, I said to myself, why, why should I give that to Greg? I, I should have kept it. Yeah, well, you, you can take it back, but we're going we're gonna to display it for a while and because then we're trying to do both sides. You can see the image on the other side. But I'm, yeah, that's, that's an unusual thing, isn't it? Oh, I don't, don't see anything me. like it. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I, I'm glad to hear that you, you noticed it. Well, yeah, I've never seen anything like it. So we're going to try to frame it so that you can literally see both glass on both sides. So uh, uh -huh. otherwise you don't get the full impression of how yeah. unique that, and I've used yeah. the term, it's my term, silk photograph, because it's on a, uh, it's not on paper, it's clearly on a, uh -huh. you know, silk handkerchief type of thing. And it's, <laughs> it's phenomenal. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, I've, never, I've never seen anything like it. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to have a we're going to have a lot of fun here on the twenty seventh. We'll have it all up, and uh, you've selected the posters for us, and you've uh, worked with Ron Healy at Frame Masters, and uh, come come December twenty seventh, I guess it's at ten o'clock. Uh, your kids will be here, and we'll have some fun showcase uh, unveiling the Terry Genesis collection. <laughs> well, I appreciate your. Willingness to to to, to uh, advance that date to 27th because I, I've got a good reason for <laughs> the 28th not being as, sure. as well. Well, this is this is very exciting for the Jackson Center mm -hmm. because as we sit in this Kappa Theater and we see the photographs around us here, I am sure next year people will be equally excited to go downstairs and see the posters of Terry Genethus around. This will, have, this will be a, of a, a reason to come to this place. And it's going to really appeal to a generation, which is your generation, the World War II generation. Yeah. Because it's a life and times of Europe. You know, you can see, go, go to places and see posters uh, that the United States created, you know, kind of support the war. Mm -hmm. but you got something which I think is pretty unique. You know, what was Europe? And especially Europe, when the, when the Nazis occupied Paris, what did this all look like? Because here you got the strong image of the Nazi helmets and, and that, and you've got Gay Paris saying life is okay under that, <laughs> right? I mean that's the image. It's propaganda. <laughs> Even the Jeff flag yeah. included. <laughs> exactly, and you've got one one of the posters simply talks about the location of this place as the Avenue of the Italians. Yes, I recall. Yeah. Now, I'm sure that's not there today. <laughs> but that was part of the Axis power, and yeah. the Germans were supporting the Italians, and it's wonderful. Uh, I'm very excited about it, and we'll, uh, this will be a reason to come to the Jackson Center, and the name Terry Genethus will be part of that. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can't believe this. Uh... This happening to a collection that I just casually collected, uh, not thinking that there would be much of any, any, any use, but only because I had had experience in, in posters in, in high school, and I figured, what, what the heck, let's. And they, they must have been cheap enough. I don't recall the price that, that I paid. Did you buy them all from one dealer? Yeah, oh yeah, they, they, they were all in one one bookstore. Well, you can tell they were not used. That's yeah. I mean, the, the color is pristine. So it's not as if you pulled somebody pulled them off the walls or you know outside and then folded them up and sold them. Yeah, I can't visualize how in France that these were displayed for for what purpose or for what, but uh, 
evidently they uh, the posters must have had their use in the pre-war and these were remnants that uh, whoever had them uh, couldn't visualize any use for them in the future so <laughs> I, somebody had pushed me and, into the place to 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 rescue them. It was meant to be. <laughs> and we're the beneficiaries. Thank you. Mm -hmm.